It, but it actually feels pretty nice. It's starting to warm up now that the sun has actually risen just a little bit. Sunrise is always the coldest time where temperatures were in those upper 50s. We're now jumping into those 60s. Some of us saw a little bit of moisture pushing through last night. So let's go ahead and look at our maps, and then we'll talk all about the Rocky Mountain Air Show. We've got some guests and some fun video coming up in just a second. But let's go straight to the maps, looking at our satellite and radar. You can see the storms. It's actually off to the east right now, pushing through the Kansas area. The far southeast corner of the state got doused with quite a bit of rain showers yesterday afternoon. Here in the metro area, most of us stayed pretty dry. Temperatures this morning, you can see Denver at 59, Greeley 61, Fort Collins 63. Burlington, though, look out east, very cool. Temperatures only right around 54. That shows you that we're seeing some of those cooler temps, the fall-like temps. Look at our winds, though. Right now, we've got winds coming out of the north about 22 miles per hour. Unfortunately, those strong winds this morning did not allow the balloonists to actually take off for their 630 flight that they planned on having. This afternoon, it's going to be a great day. If you're coming out here to the air show. It's just going to be perfect. Our temperatures are going to climb to noon into those upper 70s, into around 80 degrees between 2 and 5 o'clock. Mostly are going to be dry. There is a chance that the eastern plains could see a shower or two because of that moisture that we're seeing off in Kansas right now. It might kind of whip back and Give us a little bit of instability. The rest of us, though, are looking good. So as we look at our future cast, putting it into motion, you're really not going to see much. You're going to see a few clouds pushing through the day, just maybe the slight, slight chance you might see a shower or two. Now, the mountains do have a little bit better chance. You can see kind of around 245 that they may see a little bit of instability and some showers and some thunderstorms pushing right on through into the evening hours. But most of us here in the metro area, the folks in Boulder up there for the cycling, the USA Pro Cycling Challenge today, might have a chance to see a shower. Then tomorrow, get ready for another great day. You can see Sunday. It looks absolutely beautiful. Let's widen this out, though, and show you the statewide view just to kind of give you the big picture of what we can expect. You'll notice there's not a lot of activity. You can kind of see the storms pushing off out to the east in the Kansas area. Lyman, shower, chance of a shower down by Gunnison, Salida, Alamo, other than that, though, we are in for a great weekend. Actually, perfect weather. Our highs for today, about 10 degrees cooler than we were yesterday. 82 in here in Denver, Greeley, and Fort Collins. 87 in Burlington. The mountains, you're looking at 68 in Leadville, 77 in Aspen. Grand Junction is going to be warmer, though. They're most likely going to hit that 90 degree mark today. A little bit cooler down south in the front range. Castle Rock at 78, Elizabeth 77, Parker and Littleton both right around 79. So let's look at our seven day, though, because, of course, you know, everyone wants to look at the weekend and then the work week. We're going to keep those 80s for this weekend. Tomorrow we're jumping back up into those upper 80s. Then we've got a ridge of high pressure that's going to push in. That's going to put our temperatures back into the 90s come Monday. Now, Monday would end up being our 60th day for 90 plus degree heat. Of course, our current record right now is 61 degree days. So there's a good chance we're going to tie that come Monday and then beat it by the end of this week.